Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Geeks of Shack and we're about to head into another tutorial. Now in today's lesson we're going to be learning the foundation responsive grid layout. In this tutorial I'll be covering the foundation 5, as in a later date I'll be using foundation 6 and using SAS. Uh, yeah, so let's crack on. Now what I've done is I've made a git repository where you can download or clone um, the foundation 5 project and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to clone it into my file now um, If you watch my previous video You remember that I Said that you may need to add git clone to the beginning because sometimes it just might not come up Excellent ls -L. you see that we've got that public Let's cut this up <coughs> sorry I just got a really bad cough what's going on Right. Excellent. Let's go back into the command line. So now we're going to create our files. So is it vim index.php? And just right quit. Header.php. Oh, forgot the vim. and footer.php. Now what I'm doing guys is, you know, if you want to type text in here, you would press I, which you will insert, and then you press escape, colon, WQ, which is right quit. Or if you didn't want to save, you press Q, question mark. But in this case, I want to save it, so right quit. So now for ls-al, I have the files that I've you know, already created here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up this and this is a sublime text editor. I'll also leave um, in the description where you can download. Majority of my videos that I'm going to be doing are going to have an article attached to them that has more in-depth information. So you can always go over the video and understand what code I exactly wrote. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we need to first and foremost link the header.php uh, header file um, to the index. So how are we going to do that? It's right header.php. Little spelling mistakes, can you believe that? All right, excellent. Now we're going to move on to the header.php. Oh, not even typing there. Right. So, as you can see, I've already got um, my header.php written out already. But what we do need to do is we need to take out this. Just copy that, open footer.php, paste that there, save that. So now the index would be in there. Yeah, all right, now what we do need to do is we need to call out the foundation JS files. So if I just go to one of my previous websites I've made, I'll also put this in the article, so you can copy that. Right, so you always put this at the bottom. Um, at a later date, we'll be using the top bar. So I'm going to do another tutorial shortly after this one, showing you how to make a navigation bar. Um, Orbit JS is a it's an old it's an old foundation image slider, 
they don't even support support that anymore. So we could take that out to be honest. Um, well, they well, when I say they don't support it anymore, they still have code of it, but they don't do any updates to it. And on the foundation website, they would recommend you use another one like uh, like Al is it Al is it Al? I'm sure it's Al. I'm gonna. Have to research that and put that in the article as well. Um, so I want to save that. Save that. Excellent. So if I go back to this and I refresh this, I should see absolutely nothing. Excellent. Right. So. We have a blank page. Now, we want to design a responsive website. First things first, we need to understand how we can split our content into columns. Now, when we place our content into columns, we define them into roles. So for example, right here, the full width of this screen is 12 columns. So for example, how I would start it off is a div class role. Close that div off. Div class large hyphen 12 columns. Now notice we're only I'm only doing large. This is for a large device right now. And to show this, I'm just gonna use a foundation panel. And if I save this. We have a full 12 width column. So just give it a little break. Great, that's excellent. So now we understand that a you know a, a column, you know, a full width of a screen is 12 columns. So what about if we want to make right here? You know, we want to make two boxes aside each other. So six goes into 12 twice. Let's make a div class large six columns. Close the div. And make a div class panel so we can see the column. Copy that. So look, six, six equals 12. Let me save that, let me do. So if we refresh this, you can see we've got six, six columns. Six six eight plus six plus six equals twelve. <laughs> six times two equals twelve. So this is the beauty. Anything that equals twelve will allow us, you know, to make it responsive within the role. So for example, another another example. What we could do is div class large four columns put a panel inside there Let's copy this and we should see three boxes Voila! Yep, we have three boxes. So now you can understand. Um, but look, it's not responsive, you know. Well, it is, but it's going 12 columns on a tablet and 12 columns on a small device. So what could we do to get it looking the same as how we've created it on a laptop? 
Well, simple guys. All you would need to do is medium six, medium six, medium four, So you can see right now, it's looking the same as a laptop on a tablet. On a mobile, it's still 12. But we could have some fun. What we could do is, we could do small four, small four, small four, this one's going to be an odd one out, isn't it? So we could just do small six. Small six. So we save that. Check our browser now. You can see we've got large. Tablet is the same. Six here. Marvellous, isn't it? Responsive layout. So let's do an odd number. Div class large nine columns. Div class panel. Nine plus three equal 12 so we can change this one to 3 so you can see on a medium device it's gone to 12 but here 9, 3 if we go back to the code what we could do is we do something like this medium 6 small 4 medium 6 small 8 you see marvellous isn't it absolutely marvellous well, thank you so much, guys. This is absolutely exciting, isn't it? Now, I advise you guys to really practice this because in the next tutorial, we're going to be adding content instead of using boxes. Now, as we're going to use content, I'm going to show you how to hide and show content on different devices. So this is really exciting. So all them times you've had your previous website and you had something that looked a bit off key, on a mobile device but look great on a laptop you won't have to worry about that anymore with the next tutorial I teach you master this grid layout because once you have you'll be an excellent web designer because you will know how to style content incorrectly on different devices great isn't it thank you very much for tuning in to Geeks the Shack subscribe and you're gonna see a lot more tutorials Hmm, even more exciting. I know you guys, I know you guys, and if you know, if you know, if you know, because I like saying you know, you know, a lot. <laughs> you might have seen this in our early tutorials or see me flicking through it. Yes, I am a Laravel fan, and in a later date, I'll be getting into some Laravel tutorials with you. Let's get these beginners up. Let's get them excited about coding. Let's show them that it's easy to code once they put their mind to it. Thank you very much for tuning in.